like all of you, I strongly believe foreign assistance is investing in development. This is essential to our country's role as a superpower. I support a back-to-basics approach to development. For me, investments in child and maternal health, clean water, basic education, family planning, agriculture, food security, they are the foundation of a successful long-term development. Today, I want to talk to you about our present challenge, doing development better. It is time to modernize and strengthen U.S. foreign assistance to meet the challenges and realities of the 21st century. Uh, to me, there's a lot of indications of these changes about how people understand both the importance and the need for reform. One of the best ones, if you haven't read it, is uh, Secretary, Gates, uh, Secretary of Defense Gates' speech in late November at Kansas State University, his Landon uh, lecture. Uh, where the Secretary of Defense calls for increasing our civilian capacity, increasing the attention we pay to diplomacy, increasing the attention and the resources devoted to foreign assistance. I can't remember, I don't know if there ever has been a Secretary of Defense that has made such a call for using the other, uh, the other arms of our foreign policy tools. But we need those grand bargains in three places. One is between the legislative branch and the executive branch. Uh, I think we're all hopeful, I certainly am, that the next President of the United States will take this on as a priority agenda. But it's also going to be necessary that the Congress do so, and that the executive branch and the legislative branch get on the same page early on. Because part of what we need is an understanding, on the one hand, that the executive branch needs the ability to be agile and flexible, but the Congress needs the ability to conduct its oversight functions. So that's very critical. We need a grand bargain between Democrats and Republicans. Uh, I don't think we can afford to have a, a foreign aid system, policy, or strategy that changes every four or eight years. If you think about how development works, that's counterproductive. And third, we need a grand bargain between the State Department, our diplomatic actors, the Defense Department, and the whole host of our development economic agencies. When you look at foreign policy and national security and uh, foreign uh, aid and assistance, um, it's not going to magically go to the top of the list. Uh, the new president's gonna have to deal with Iraq. The new president's gonna have to deal with Iran. It's gonna have to deal with the Middle East peace process and perhaps most importantly, it's gonna have to deal with things like gas prices and uh, energy independence. So there, is a, uh, there will be a problem for the new president just getting it on the agenda. Um, the, the second issue, and this has become more prevalent in the last six or seven months, is it's, uh, the problems at home are going to crowd out uh, issues of uh, foreign assistance. Uh, you know, very you know, smart uh, people, Tom Friedman wrote this week, that we need to do nation building, but we need to concentrate on this nation and not other nations. Not exactly a reactionary voice in American politics, but making a very serious point. Uh, the third is, and I, I, I like to make fun of Gail uh, from time to time, that there is, uh, politics is about how you speak about things. And to be successful, you speak about it in a way where you get people to support you. And I always laugh when people talk about foreign assistance. Well, if you want to go to the American public, the voting public, and find two things that they are instinctually against, one is foreign, mm -hmm and one is government assistance. So we've decided to put them together and say, but support us because it's important. I'm not sure we really want to call it the Department of Development because we're setting up another DOD. Um, on the <laughs> other hand, maybe we do want to call it uh, the DOD. So for Gail and Steve and, you know, when you're in charge of this thing, what are you going to call it? Well, it, the name is the Department of Global Investments, Doggy. <laughs> We'll have <laughs> the Secretary of Doggy and the Deputy Secretary of Doggy. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Whew. That's why we brought Joe along. Um, we got a lot to work with here. 